what I've asked our president to do is just make one simple statement to the public, to the next you know, State of the Nation address. And the simple statement that he has to make is that we are a fundamentally water-constrained economy. The future of our economy lies in recycling. All we need to do is recycle our total national water resource 1.6 times by 2035, and we're going to have full employment and a prosperous economy. Because therein is an important message. Water is a flux, but we manage it like a stock. That is the problem. A flux moves in time and space, a stock doesn't. You deplete a stock, you take a stock from 100% down to zero, and while you're doing that, you convert natural capital into other stuff, financial capital. Uh, but water is different. Water is a flux. The, this water that I'm drinking now, uh, I've borrowed it from nature. It'll go back to nature. And those of you that drink beer will know that this happens quite regularly. Okay, you borrow water, you don't, you know, you rent it, you don't buy it. Okay, so. If we understand this, then it's actually quite a, quite a rosy scenario. It's actually a good news scenario. It's not politically risky at all. So I'm doing a lot of work now in the disruptive space. And let me tell you, the disruptors are here already. They're already upon us. And I'm going to just mention three or four of these things, I think. The first thing is, uh, is we talk about alternative storage. Well, alternative storage is actually old hat. We've been doing it a long, long time, okay? And one of the most significant forms of alternative storage comes, I'm sorry to say, from Australia, comes from Texas, from California, with, uh, called aquifer storage and recovery. Instead of storing water in dams where it gets lost to evaporation, we're storing water underground. Uh, you know, it's, it's happening all over the show. It's not new. It's a, it's a disrupt. It's out there already. Uh, so the technology is mature. It's, a, it's advanced. We need a tall tree element to say this is what we want to do. And uh, I think that's an important part of it. Okay, and how do we monetize that? How do we turn that into a commercial undertaking? That's, that, that, that's the one thing. The second thing is in terms of sewage management. Like it or not, we've got a major sewage problem in the country. Uh, we, uh, we process about 5,100 maybe uh, megaliters of sewage per day, of which 20% uh, is treated to a reasonable standard. The other, the other 80% is returned back to the river. As either as untreated or partially treated. Just to give you a number, 4,126 uh, uh, megalitres. Compare that to acid mine drainage uh, point source discharge, 18 megalitres. So 18 megalitres of AMD, and we get excited about that, you know, 4,100 megalitres, and we don't really understand it. We don't care about it. So th this is an important discussion to have. The future lies in recycling our sewage, and in fact, you need to go no further. Singapore water, Jackie Chan, the CEO, Singapore Water has been doing it for a long, long time, okay? They, he called it new water. He took 100% of his budget, allocated 20% to the purchase of technology, 80% to the changing of mindsets, and they got a clever branding guy, and they said this water is called new water, and that's what Singapore's economy is based on, new water.